Pull it. Boy, sure a lot of fun breaking clays. Hey everybody, Patrick Kelly here. How you doing? You know, we spend a lot of time making sure our rifles are zeroed and our pistols are zeroed. But do we worry about our shotguns? No, we just load shot shells in them and go shooting. If we break clays, great. If we miss a, miss a game bird, well, that's a shame. But uh, you know, if you actually took the time to zero your shotgun, my guess is your success in the field and on the range will go up exponentially. So today, we're going to talk about shotgun patterning. Shotgun patterning. You know, it really is a matter of just having the shotgun fit you and having the shot go where you expect it to be in time and space. So, you know, a trap shooter might want his pattern to be above his line of sight because he's shooting rising birds in the game of trap. Now, a skeet shooter might want his pattern to be pretty much equal above and below his point of aim because he's shooting mostly horizontally moving birds. The uh, sporting clay shooter still might want the same thing because he's going to shoot left and right crossers and incomers and outgoers and rising birds and falling birds. So to try to calculate outside where your pattern goes from relationship to your sights is a difficult task. So 50 50 is a pretty good uh, all around choice for the field and for the range. Let me give you a brief overview of chokes and how they work. A shotgun barrel that's been bored straight, in other words it's a parallel tube or a cylinder that's parallel for its entire length. That's cylinder bore. It's been bored straight cylinder bore. If you tighten that up a little bit to have the shot have some level of restriction as it leaves the muzzle of the gun, that's improved cylinder. You make it a little bit tighter than that, you have modified, and a little tighter than that, you have full choke. So the shot is actually going through a restriction as it leaves the muzzle in hopes of keeping that the shot um, spread to a more narrow dimension. There are many choke tubes ranging from cylinder bore through full choke. And there's actually something extra full and extra full beyond that. And there's also diffuser chokes, specialty chokes that actually spread the uh, shot out over a wider pattern, more wide than you'd find out of a cylinder bore gun. And then there's uh, pieces of choke in between all the, the improved and modified and full. There's light mod and improved mod. There's skeet one and skeet two. There's lots of different choices out there, but you know, just the name on the choke doesn't tell the tale. What really counts is how your gun, your ammo, and how your gun is fit for you, and what kind of pattern it produces at what distance. And again, the only way you're ever going to know that is a pattern board. Now, I've seen guys out there at, at snowy ranges where it's been snowing, shoot a snowbank. Yeah, that's good to go. Well, that might give you some idea that it's in the same, that uh, shot string is landing in the same time zone that you're in. Same thing with a piece of cardboard. Now, cardboard works great, but you shoot one or two rounds on a piece of cardboard, you're done. you got to get a fresh piece of cardboard if you're going to change chokes and see how that choke performs. So again, the pattern board is the hot tip. And the one I have down range today is made by MGM Targets. My good buddy Travis Gibson over at MGM gave him a call and said, you know, I think there's a market out there for pattern boards. I need one, and I think you might need one too. You might want to check them out at MGM Targets. Anyways, we'll, uh, we'll go over the various chokes and restrictions, how they all work, put a few rounds on, on the, uh, the pattern board, and show you the results to help you in the field or on the range to bag more game and more targets. All right, let's put a shot on that pattern board downrange. Now it's 30 yards from where I'm at. And that's kind of a standard in the industry, a 30 inch circle, 30 yards away, is really how they determine uh, your choke restriction. 30 yards, 30 inch circle, uh, it's a percentage of shot within that 30 inch circle determines your choke. There's a chart, which I'll put up here in a little bit, so you can look at the chart, but that's really not nearly as important as the visual reference you're going to see in just a moment of what a cylinder board choke looks like. This is a 12-gauge Franke shotgun, 30 yards away. Let's put one right in the very middle there. This shot will be improved cylinder. Now for my favorite all-around choke, light modified. After light modified is modified, right in the middle of the spectrum. You want to make modified tighter, what do you do? You improve it. So what do we have here? Improved, modified. And what do we have next? Full choke. Keep in mind that there are specialty chokes that are tighter than full and more open than cylinder. We're not going to address those today, but again, I'll throw up a chart to give you a rough idea. Full choke. Those of you that know me know I'm all about having a good time. And I gotta tell you that the better you're shooting, the better time you're going to have. Pull it! Woohoo! Love breaking targets. Use the right choke tube, you'll break more.
But man, my love is really in three gun. So in three gun, we run a little more open choke and step on the throttle. Gotta love it. Proper application of choke to steel targets, and they fall down every time. Use a proper choke for the game that you're playing, and you're sure to have more fun.